Tutere. 20% off. How's it going, Tube Tech students? It's your boy Diddles, and I would like to welcome you back to another episode of Dramatic Diddles. Now, we're going to keep this family-friendly train running because YouTube really liked the fact that I posted something family-friendly yesterday. So I took that as a sign of that's what we should stick with. So today we will be delving into the fandoms of the Backyardigans. I got this idea from listening to the Just Talk podcast over on the Dream Team. Link in the description. Today we have a fan fiction by the name of A Twisted Backyardigans by Malk Shake. Now, I'm pretty sure that it's going to be filled with nice, wholesome content, because I always loved the Backyardigans growing up. One of my favorite Nick Jr. shows. So what do you say we return to the suburbs and check in with these guys and see how everything is going? What do you say we... Cue the music and jump right in. That's my JoJo's pose. Do you like it? It's very cringe. Oh no! It was a normal afternoon in the neighborhood. Pablo and Austin had just finished having spontaneous sex in the backyard. I lied. Oh, why do I lie? Man. That was hot, said Pablo, lighting up a smoke. Just then, Tyrone came over. Hey guys, I was thinking we could play some- Not saying that word. <gasps> hey guys, I was thinking we could play some imagination game today. Sure. Let's play Pimps and Whores, shouted Austin. Unico and Tasha came over. They decided that Tyrone and Pablo were going to be the pimps. Austin and Tasha would be the whores. Wait a minute, why would Austin be a whore? He's a whole ass Chad. He- well, you know, c considering he's a Chad, he doesn't mind playing the role of the whore, because he knows he gets bitches on the daily. Why not let someone get with him for once, you know? They took some acid out of Tyrone's stash and got ready for the game. Soon they were in a ghetto neighborhood, not unlike their own. Unico was going to be a customer. She walked over to Tasha. Hey baby, I've got five dollars. Let's get it on. Fuck you. I'm worth more than five dollars. <laughs> oh, base diddles, base diddles. <gasps> Fuck you. I'm worth more than five dollars. No you're not. You give it out for free all the time anyways. All right, let's do this shit. Uniqua had a very large boner now. Wait a minute, I don't, I, I don't, I don't think Uniqua, I mean, unless I'm wrong. I, I mean, at least, I, I, mean, I mean, unless she has a penis in this, in this uh, hallucination. You know what, who am I to judge? It's 2021, be whatever you want to be. Oh no! Tasha touched Unique with straining erection and then they tackled each other and started doing it in front of Pablo, Tyrone, and Austin. They were jealous about not getting any, so they had a three-way. Then, Sherman the Worman. Who the fuck is Sherman the Worman? <gasps> oh, it's that little nigga. It's that little nigga Sherman. I remember that nigga. He was cool. I like Sherman the Worman. <gasps> then, Sherman the Worman came over and started giving Tyrone a blowjob. But unfortunately, Tyrone's 10-foot meat pole ripped right through the little worm, killing him. Damn. It's always our heroes who die first. Austin started crying like a bitch. He had eyeliner and mascara running down his face as he attempted to punch Tyrone. Tyrone beat the shit out of Austin and accidentally strangled him. Then, Tyrone, Uniqua, Tasha, and Pablo walked away. They were bored as fuck, so they decided to buy some more drugs. They found a dealer who happened to be Roscoe the Robot. See, now I gotta look up Roscoe the Robot so I can be fully immersed. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Never saw him, but yeah. Yeah. That fits the bill. <gasps> he sold them some more acid and shrooms, and then they all got really fucked up. Tyrone thought Uniqua had huge tits, so he tried to fuck her, but she killed him by snapping his neck like a twig. <laughs> I see. I had made an appearance in this story. Oh no! Fuckloads of other crazy shit happened to them, but soon their buzz ended. Now they were really bored, but they thought of something to do. Instead of pimps and whores, they decided to play their second favorite imagination game, Gynecologist. Pablo and Uniqua played it on Tasha, who at first enjoyed sticking a lot of different objects into Tasha's pussy. But after the fire extinguisher got stuck, Tasha screamed like a bitch at them. Uniqua got pissed and killed Tasha, then they had sex with her body. That's necrophilia. I've been okay with everything else in this story, but not the necrophilia. Oh no! What the fuck did you do that for, said Pablo. What's it to you? She was a bitch anyways, said Uniqua. True, said Pablo. Then they went home to get some graham crackers and milk. But then Uniqua got pissed off about something and killed Pablo. The end. Oh no! Honestly, more than anything, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in the fact that even though this calls itself a Backyardigans fanfiction, 
it's not really a Backyardigans fanfiction. It's just vulgarity and drug references with character names from the backyard again thrown in there. This could literally be about anything. I could I could have switched out the names with Sonic characters and you guys would be none the wiser. You you guys would think, oh, he found another Sonic fanfiction. That's why characterization is so important. You have to do things in your story to make you feel like these are the characters you're reading about. You have to become emotionally invested in these characters. So I know I'm doing this out of order. Characterization, I'm, I'm giving this a zero out of 10. Like. This literally could have been anyone Malk shake. Come on, I, I know you, you're better than this. That's a lie. I have never met you in my life, but the fact still stands, I know you're better than this. Punctuation and grammar was really good. You could have used some more spaces after periods, but other than that, fairly simple to read. Uh, little to no mistakes. Good job on that front. As for story, there wasn't really much of a story. It was, as I said earlier, it was just random vulgarity and drug usage and sex like i i know i'm reading little sonic's ultimate harem but at least there's a story there sonic is recounting his tales of conquer i don't know if that sentence made any sense his tales of sexual conquest to mario that's what i was trying to say like he's doing that and then in all these mini stories he still tries to give some fluff to it does it always work no but you you can still see that effort was made this seems like you just wanted to make a funny little story to share with your friends. Be like, haha, look, it's outrageous that these characters from the Backyardigans are doing this. Um, so, I'm going to give you a 1 out of 10 this week. The next time I see you on this site, I, I want to see some pure ecstasies from you. I'm talking amazing story, amazing care characterization. I mean, I want to I, I want to feel like you went back and actually watch the entirety of the backyard again in order to write your next story. And sure, if you want to have some sex in there, sure, just make sure you age them up. Because I, I noticed uh, you there was a line here that said, um, who said that they thought that Uniqua had nice tits? Someone said, oh, Tyrone thought Uniqua had nice tits. And from that statement alone, I could tell, oh, she's of legal age. Because, <laughs> yes, Brandon, only people of legal age have titties. You're such a genius. Oh no! Do better, I believe in you. So with that being said, uh, class is dismissed. Don't forget to check out the Patreon and leave a like on the way out. And with that being said, until next time, diddle out. Hooteray, merch, hooteray, dream team. Don't miss it. Dream team, merch, hooteray. Uh, working on Baka episode, uh, character on front, show logo on back. Looks really good. Check it out. Bye. <laughs>